whereas actually who we are is something that's right here. So in, if you've ever noticed, you've always been here. There's always been this moment. You've never actually managed to obtain the past or hold on to the past or get to the future. You've always been right here, right now, this alive presence that's looking at itself, that knows itself. And in that, images have appeared of your past and of your future, giving the appearance that you're coming from the past and going to the future. But actually, the past and the future are like two black holes that you don't know, that are an absolute mystery. You're always on the verge of the precipice. You're never actually like descending into anything. You're always in mess mystery. You don't know what's coming. It's just our mind plays tricks on us. So like, let's look at the way our mind works. So let's look at the way that we know movement, so the movement of my arm, for example. So what's happening in that movement is there's lots of images appearing that's giving us movement. So we know that it's up here because we remember that it was down here. We remember it's there, we remember it's there, we remember it's there. So we remember its previous position but that memory is happening so quickly that's piecing together all of this. Like our memory. If you had no memory, if you were like a fish that forgets every six seconds, it's like it's got to there, it's forgotten it. Maybe there's an animal that forgets even quicker, so then it's like the past has disappeared even quicker. So our memory is filling in the gaps. So we, we know that movement by the memory of the position here, 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 here. So you could say that our memory is happening and piecing everything together really quickly, like our brain is giving the appearance of all this movement. Like to another animal that um, has different senses or different experiences, I'm sure this world is completely different, completely different. Like to a snake, this world is something else. To a dog, this world is very different. So what's the point of knowing that? The point of knowing that is remembering who you are beyond this story of who you are. So it's remembering who you are beyond this image and idea of you that you're always retelling yourself, always identifying with. So what's here beyond all of that? So you're identifying with this like, so say this is the human life, you're identifying with something that's not here. Like you remember that your life down here and then your life comes up to here and you remember it and you're holding it in your imagination together as if that's you looking out of your eyes now. That person that came from the past is looking out of my eyes. But that's not who's looking out of your eyes. There's an innocence here that is not a thing and everything. It's not anything. It's not thought. It's not image. It's not experience. It's not memory. It's not anything. But yeah, it is everything. It knows everything. So it is everything that's appearing. So it's nothing and everything. So, and your essence is conscious of itself, it knows this is happening. And even though my words, like my words are disappearing and your mind is making sense of it, there's something else happening here which is really quite magical and mysterious and wonderful. It's not something you can grab onto. Your mind is like, oh, where is this? Where is this no place that's every place? Where is this consciousness or aliveness or energy, whatever the teacher expresses it to be? but there's no place to hold on to. You can't grab hold of it. It doesn't have a solid form. It is nothing appearing as everything. So you can't understand it. The mind understands matter, understands things, understands comparison. But this has got no comparison. This has got no opposites. This has got no things. It is no thing, which is everything. And the mind's like, It looks desperately for something. So actually in this moment, who am I speaking to? So the mind, the, the intellect thinks that I'm speaking to you or the identity thinks I'm speaking to you and you're someone sat there in relationship to me. But in this moment, in this instant, who am I actually speaking to? Right now, 